Sunday delivered top sailing conditions on the Kieler Fjord. 15 knots of wind from the east, blue skies and long Baltic waves made for a perfect late summer setting. On the TV track, two single-hander dinghy classes, the Europe and the Ilka Four Fleet. The wind and warm weather placed big physical demands on the young sailors. In the Europe class, it was a great day for the Swede, Sebastian Nark, who scored three second places and one third place. Nark showed the best speed downwind to move ahead of the competition. The question of the day was whether Nark could have done even better had the Swede not made a number of small mistakes. For example, when he had to continue a long way past the turning mark to avoid a collision, which let the eventual winner get ahead in that race. The Dane Simon Christofferson also had a top day, making up for yesterday's somewhat weak start to the regatta with two first places today. Christofferson earned his victories thanks to a strong performance on the upwind legs, along with some daring tactics. Tanya Tamling from Hamburg, currently the best female sailor in the field, was also very happy with her Sunday. Representing her sailing club, Altona Ovalgona, Tamling sailed four courageous races and is currently in fifth place overall. Girl power was on display also in the Ilka 4 class with two wins by Josephine Kopp and Dora Gomercic from Croatia. Kopp secured her success on the final downwind with a strong defense against the Zvishenhana sailors Batbolt Gruner and Paul Ulrich who were closing in fast from behind. In the overall ranking of the regatta, last year's winner Gruner is still the the undisputed leader. Even a few mediocre starts and a capsize in the last race have not been able to hold him back from his winning run so far. Tonight at Kielowaka we continue with Gewaltig Leiser and Klaus Lager after Kurt Kromer opened the festival on Saturday and in the sailing cinema on the fjord. Showing this evening is the crime scene with local commissioner Borowski. Tomorrow the big names of the keelboat world will line up on the start line. The world championships in the starboat begin at 1300 hours local time.